Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulihi al-kareem Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Amma ba'd Dear friends, brothers and sisters Today we shall be talking about Marital values in Islam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Wallahu ja'ala lakum min anfusikum azwajan وَجَعَلَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَزْوَاجِكُمْ بَنِينَ وَحَفَدَةً وَرَزَقَكُمْ مِنَ الطَّيِّبَاتِ أَفَبِالْبَاتِ لَيُؤْمِنُونَ وَبِنِعْمَةِ اللَّهِ هُمْ يَكْفُرُونَ And Almighty Allah has made for you your spouses of your own nature among humans and made for you out of them sons and daughters and grandchildren and provided for you sustenance of the best do they then believe in false deities and deny favors of Allah? Similarly, it has been said in the Quran, "A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim wa min ayatihi an khalaq lakum min anfusikum azwajan litaskunu ilayha wa jaala bainakum mawaddatan wa rahmatan." إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لِآيَاتٍ لِقَوْمٍ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ And among Allah's signs is that that Allah created for you spouses from among yourselves that you may dwell in contentment with them and He has put love and compassion between your hearts undoubtedly in these are the signs for those who contemplate. Dear brothers and sisters, we all know about the importance of marital values. Marital values are the backbone of family life and its morals. Consent between a boy and a girl based on their free will to tie up the nuptial bond is an important factor to a successful married life. A formal binding contract is considered integral to a religiously valid Islamic marriage, which we call nikah, and outlines the rights and responsibilities of the groom and bride. Islam is totally opposed to monasticism and celibacy. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has recommended marriage because this is one of his tradition. Marriage is an is an act of responsible tradition of the Prophet and it is strongly recommended for every eligible in the community to commit to the bond in order to save self from evil distractions, infidelity and safeguarding chastity. Marriage is half faith and rest is the struggle to strengthen faith. Marriage makes an incomplete human being to a complete one. Marriage arranges one's life to better integration and to happier life tenure. Almighty Allah has created men and women as company for one another and so that they can procreate and live in peace and tranquility. A happy marriage is the union of two male and female humans who are good forgivers to each other. The difference between an ordinary marriage and marriage in Islam is in just complementing values for each other as often as possible for as long as both husband and wife live. Take the example in the life of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Happy is the human who finds a true friend in his own spouse. A successful marriage requires falling in irresistible love many times, always with the same person who is one's own spouse. Let the wife make the husband glad to come home and let the husband make her lonely to see him leave. Where there is love, there is life. The greatest marriages are built on teamwork, a mutual respect, a healthy dose of admiration, and a never-ending portion of love and grace are the values one could entertain in the marriage. The brothers and sisters, the husband is financially responsible for the welfare and maintenance of his wife and any children they are blessed with inclusive of providing home, food, clothing, education, and protection against the evils prevalent all around, such is the law, and such are the examples of marital values. In reciprocal marital morals, it is duty of the wife to safeguard the husband's positions, 
his honor her honor her children and manage the matters of family through mutual consultations if the wife has wealth in her own capacity she is not obliged to spend upon her family of course ethically when she decides to spend who would be more justly eligible for her liking than her husband and children however the husband has no right upon her property and accepts except by her willingness to do so as long as they are alive and they are married the basic principles of enhanced marital values may wisely include do not marry the person you think you can live with but marry only the individual you think you cannot live without marry a person where you like the attitude behavior and etiquettes as valued in islam beauty wealth and lineage come later as one marries who is best in islam marital values could only be further enhanced when wife chooses to close eyes towards the innocent errors from her husband and husband acts deaf when wife chooses to switch for innocent complaints but calmly rectifies what is needed most in order to help support and enhance your marital values as a spouse always comprehend with the idea that an ideal wife is any woman who has an ideal husband those who do not regard marital values such are the men and women fallen in the trap of the trouble in terms of separation divorce loneliness unhealthy lifestyle lost lineage infidelity immorality wickedness depravity sickness insecurity shattered children and many other unconstructiveness in life which only causes mental and social chaos in a society imagine due to the lost marital values in canada as per the statistics what i have for the year 20, 2005 2005 had seen 71000 divorces while ontario experienced the highest divorce rate of 30000 as as per the statistics canada dear brothers and sisters in islam i will just say one thing that marriage safeguards you from many evils and in one of the saying the prophet said those people those who do not marry and they commit to adultery the adulterer is not a believer while he's committing adultery and the thief is not a believer while he is stealing but there is a chance for repentance